What is going on YouTube? I'd like to welcome you guys back to Red's World. And as you can hear by the epic music that's playing in the background, we are finally getting into something that I've wanted to get into for a really long time here. I have not gotten into it for a while just because of uh, the game's a little older and uh, I didn't want to buy it at full price. <laughs> because I knew it would be on sale. Well, I finally got two games for $30 versus $30 a piece or $60 a piece. I don't know how much they re originally cost, but um, we're going to be playing the Batman Telltale series. Now, if you know anything about this channel or myself, I am a huge Batman fan, and this is a game that I've wanted to play for a long time. So we're going to go ahead and hop into this. But before we do that, make sure you guys follow, make sure you guys subscribe and all that good stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and hop into this because this might be a long playthrough. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Hopefully I don't mess up too much. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. Hey, what are you- Damn, like that? Okay, I guess we're starting off like that. There's a trip mine. Ow. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Who are they talking about? They got there quick. The GCPD does not play around. Oh, Christ. Gordon is there. Move in. elevator up thank god he wasn't on oh move move yeah it was coming down gordon they're on the 52nd floor i'm going in hey wait wait for backup don't need it ah the legendary the batman voice Good stories you know sent three home in an ambulance the rest in body bags no wonder the cops want him dead hey you ever seen him yeah gotham zoo with all the other flying animals who are they talking about? Are they talking about Batman? Batman doesn't kill people, right? Oh, this is already getting sweet. He's looking like, what the hell? Oh, shit. You better start blasting. It's over. Bam! I don't think you realize how strong that glass is. Bruce, is this a flashback? You can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. I love choices right off the bat. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, that is terrifying. <laughs> well, the he abandoned mission. <laughs> Whatever got in, don't let it get out. These types of thugs would usually be able to run the entire city with these guns and tactical knowledge. No normal person's about to stop that. But of course, you got the goat. Oh, no, see, this is like a damn horror game. Oh, yeah, I'd be out, bro. <laughs> Get out while you can, dog. Give me that foot. Yoink! Oh, 
Okay. Okay. So hold on. Let's get one thing straight right away. Me personally, I'm gone. I see dudes sliding across the ground and all this. Nah, we're out of there. We're out of there so fast, bro. This is terrifying. I'm enjoying this so far, though. Yeah, you. Back to back, circle up. Couldn't get me. You couldn't pay me to do this job. Smoke bomb. Ah. Oh. <coughs> what the hell is this? Time to tie him up, Batman. <coughs> All your friends are gone, buddy. And that dude's still over there, just cutting the door. Press. Okay, that's gonna be weird to get used to. I know you're trying to create a myth. But be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh. Bro, could you imagine sitting there shooting this dude and he's just running at you, crushing your head? Oh my god! Oh yeah, it's us one-on-one, -on -one, baby. What you got? Wop! Wop! Uh-huh. Keep swinging. Best defense is a good offense. Or whatever, vice versa. Uh. Damn. Yo, he just beat the snot out of dude. Just give up, bro. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Uh, what are you doing Behind in here? You, big boy. Mm -hmm. Uh, I prefer you didn't steal that cat woman. Yo. This dude is so smooth with it. <laughs> he just, we are, what, 10 minutes in? We're, we're not even 10 minutes in, and this dude is already literally just massacring mobs of guys. What's crazy, though, is the, the for one, the moves he's using, but he's he doesn't kill people. But good lord, I mean, you might as well at this point. They're gonna be crippled. They're gonna be brain dead. They, uh, man, crispy combat though. That that is beautiful. I'm back here. Where are they? You better jump out that window, Batman. Yes, sir. Oh, stairs. Imagine seeing someone doing this stuff. You're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. Damn, he got up there quick. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering Mask if his voice. Pants. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Justice. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Yes, sir. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Yes. Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. 
tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Yo, these, these lines are crazy. You don't want to scrap with me, huh? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wrap it around you. Pull her in. Or don't. Uh. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna pull no punches. Oh, you really sliced me. Okay. Time to pound. She got them hands, though. The hell? Uh, mm. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's her uh, magnet. Oh, I hit her. Come on. Yes, sir. You ain't getting away. Who are they now? Jesus! I got him! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Cops didn't like that one. <laughs> Ooh, shit! She bringing the heat. Yeah. So dirty with it. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. So cold, bro. Oh. God damn it! I said don't shoot me. No, wait! Why would he shoot? Chain going to the helicopter. Oh. Oh shit, Batman. You're gonna kill the bitch. Oh. You better have that grapple gun. Oh boy. This isn't good, Batman. What'd you do? He's so clean, even when he messes up, it's clean. <laughs> Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Yep. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. I'll struggle, you fall. Don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. What? Bye, Bat. <laughs> oh. Hey, you kind of rizzed her up with that armful. And of course she got his grapple gun. Batman, you simp. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Why'd that shadow look so bad? <laughs> what is going on with the shadows here? It is freezing in here. Grab me a blanket.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Welcome to Gotham. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing Harvey endorsement. Do? Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. Is that Harvey Dent? I promise you, a vote for Why Harvey Dent so stupid? is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the Man, fire and like save Blanca. our great city. Okay. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable yes, and sir. fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. What's up, everybody? Enjoy my wine. Welcome to Wayne Manor. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. And how are we gonna do that, Harvey? Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Of course. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? <coughs> I know you prefer Just the relax, man. billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax. It was important. Yes, sir. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What? A chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the <laughs> game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Go ahead and let him talk. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? Yep. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. A new face for like God. Car salesman. But a dent in crime. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. But a dent in crime, right, I like right, it. Right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you I'm like that? that? Yes, sir. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. I see what he did there. That was a bar. We gotta shake things up. Shake things, like, shake. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Okay, who Hello, is that? Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. Oh, okay. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. Good. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. We can all well, make a difference. You. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Yep. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bob. Okay, tell us how you feel. Golden Age? Seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Jesus. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. That's and it's a dangerous mentality true. to think so. That's how you get... Creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. 
Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. <laughs> I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. Why would you bring that up? It was terrible. Up? Truly terrible. Learn some damn etiquette. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a Idiots, age. man. Must have been crippling. Yeah. If only Let's that not talk about that. deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Thanks for your well, sympathy. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. Yes, sir. Harvey Dent looks like a Saints Row <laughs> character. Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested. Reporter. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Yeah, this is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Of course not. Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Keep it off the record. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social Beautiful event, Mr. Wayne. Wayne. Come on now, so <laughs> formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. Yeah. But you don't even know. How are you doing? You know that's kind you of deep. Enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Blood. Um, is that blood? Cut a shelf shaven. Yeah. Shaven, shaven, shaven. It looks like... Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> I did raise her up though. It's about I'm Bruce fucking Bruce bleeding. Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Ooh. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Ugh. Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. You start writing, Vicky. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. That's facts. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I'm gonna trust I don't you. Like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously, you know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yep. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no Let's class. Let's talk privately. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. Yes, sir. We'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Yep. Are they all watching me? You're, uh... 
respectable man, I hear. Well, Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I don't, they, the guests are gonna remember that? Why is that, why'd that have to pop up? I don't like that. <laughs> You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Has They're gonna keep the mayor out. Okay. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. I'll talk to him alone. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. That'd be wise. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. That's true. You understand? Absolutely. And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something real. Yep. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So who the fuck so, told you you could play pool here? Let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Yeah. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions. I feel like he just kind of hold me, but we'll, we'll let it go. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. That's probably true. We got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that taxi uh, that you have understand to turn up on situation. You. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. I shook your hand, though. And which to break. Yeah. Let that sink in. It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. Why? I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing, this man just tried to punk me. Ah, uh, Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. That was a solid intro. I like that they made the uh, symbol out of Gotham. That's like the uh, Gotham skyline. That's pretty cool. Zach Keller, Chris Hackett. Yeah, you might want to band-aid yourself or something instead of bleeding all over yourself in front of your guests. Am I going to the Batcave? It's me. Episode 1. We're just now starting episode 1, 30 minutes in. <laughs> We're about to be here all night. 
shit. Uh, Realm of Shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. With breaking and entering... Memory games? Is that what I said? What is a memory gram? Ain't that like a boob scan? Why are those out? Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break in at City Hall. Yes, sir. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Let's see what she was after. Um, think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising Gotham young feed. politicians? And in other news, we are now on EA pressures the mayor to decree vigilantes. Gotham attorney calls upon mayor's office to take a public stand against a wave of vigilantes. Still no word on this what lieutenant the fire. Uh, tap to lead. Everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area okay. and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmoni was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge. Sometimes Louis Pistachio. Really fell off a building for this? Let's see what's in it, Bruce. Stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's crowded sky rail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal. I, I need that chair. It's going to be so important. Anyone want to buy me that chair so I can have it while I game? <laughs> I'll leave my uh, Amazon wish list down in the links. Wait, Manor has There's seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. This is my lab, bro. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. That's, That's not true, Did actually. you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. The hell? I'll take the hologram. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Like Money, what? Weapons, drugs, everything mm, flows She's through probably that trying to steal jewelry. That's kind of where thing. Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for it's the bar. Tea? I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Thanks for your help, Alfred. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. And it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried you might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. I mean, they kind of do. still had one. It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Cat burglar. 
Found her. Crimes, burglary, petty larceny, <clears throat> new criminal on the scene, tied to several break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. Okay. Nothing. Not much to find, apparently. Oh. Nope. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step out. So you want me to go break in, in and steal stuff? Is As what you're Bruce saying? Or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls, the guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted. Then, the media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but no one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I got I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. A necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. Uh, you worry too much, worry, Alfred. That's all. It's our gift and our curse. I understand. One more worry for the list. What is it? Flip it over. Park 6 a.m. Oz. I thought I saw Oz. Penguin? It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge of oh, no, boxing not him. matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his Is it Patrick Oswald? I don't I don't remember Charlie. his name. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Up to this he point. There was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close. That is Oswald. I'd advise you to be cautious. The hell? But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. Is it solved. Penguin's kid? I'll be careful, Alfred. Because I don't look when like Penguin to me. you of his park, I think you will. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to meet Oswald. That's definitely not uh, Penguin. Homelessness. Where are you, Oz? Uh, I kind of wanted to read that. Let's go back down the stairs. Bruce Wayne associates with the Gotham's Thugs? Is that what it says? I mean, you gotta be polite to everybody to some degree. You gotta understand how much this breaks Bruce Wayne's heart, considering he tries to fight off all the crime and stuff, and this is all littering and... vandalizing. You doing alright, man? I'm not gonna lie, seeing that homeless man kind of tore me up because Bruce could just give him all money. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that there's some dilemma that he can't give him money. I guess he invests stuff. You hear Oz? Running late, meet you by the statue. Oh boy. There's the statue. Okay, so there's Penguin. 
so it must be Penguin's kid. Is there a shopping cart here? You guys been collecting trash and cans? I really want to talk to that guy, to be honest with you. Babble Pop Park. Established. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Long time ago. I can barely even see what that is. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Try not to talk to him, man. Just give him the you watch. Heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him. Bad choice. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh. in the moment! Come here. You think that'll do? Hmm. Good lord. The punches are... Jeez. Don't kill him. Okay. Relax. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Dip. Oh my god. He hit himself the hardest. Yo, you gotta relax with all that. This is my park. Mine. You, you are going to kill people. <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Hey, good as new. Uh, you got some yourself, right but I don't scrap, think eh? I can wipe that off with my Nothing thumb. Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. <sighs> Thank you for the help. Thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Oh, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, what? I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park? Used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Yeah. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> you doing all right, man? Committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? No. Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. I lost my, my parents, parents too, man. Too, Oz. I know, Bruce. I know. I'm sorry for it, but I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Ah. Uh. Made himself right at home. That oily. Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin in the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, 
We can agree in earnest. Yes, sir. Falcone made a stack of cash in corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. <clears throat> All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. That's all right. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Oh, boy. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises his own. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. What are you trying to say? The revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not I'm trying to make enemy, Lars. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. What kind of revolution are you talking about? Good seeing you, Bruce. I oh, could just give you a little I bit of money. To collect. Cheers. Press conference for the new hospital starts soon. See, uh, you know, it'd be nice to have money and stuff, but I don't want to do this constant, constant meetings, traveling, jets, airplanes. Bruce is all in, in Gotham, but some of your favorite celebrities and stuff, it's like, oh, well, I gotta fly over to the UK for a little bit, and yeah, I'm good on all that. I don't mind a little bit, but not like this, man. Ooh, pulled up in the red whip. Mr. Wayne, over here. Right oh, here. Oh, boy. This way. Bruce, Bruce. I don't. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Dent. Uh, I don't want to hey, say Bruce, something. Hey, cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Yep. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Yes, sir, Ski. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Um... The sick need our help. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. That's facts. But inside, they're suffering. That's facts. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Way to flip it. <laughs> Good shit, Bruce. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Hey, this is going surprisingly well. 
I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? We should tear down. down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. Are we hey. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. I'm just spitballing it here. I don't know if this is the right choices. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Um. Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyone else have a question? Please hey, keep I'm your keeping questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. The hell? Care to comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this? This is, the, this is how people act. It's all good, though. Falcone. This ain't really that stressful. The people are idiots. Be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. What's Bruce, going on, I've been man? To reach you. The police are inside the manor. Why? What the hell's going on here, Alfred? <clears throat> Hello? Why are they taking everything? Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. The hell? It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. Do your job. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. Who is that? It's a valid the top? warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Mm. The mayor's trying to get me knocked off. So, consider yourself served. That's fine. You're I don't not going to find your neck anything. I ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Because I'm supporting Hill Harvey Dent. I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a <laughs> conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Nope. Not that I know of. Well, outside of being Batman, but uh, we're not gonna talk about that. Could you not break my shit, bro? Let me guess a picture of my parents. Disrespectful bastards. Kill them all, Bruce. Kill them all, Bruce. Make oh, them oh, suffer. Oh, Make them suffer, Bruce. Take whatever you want. <laughs> you, you don't have to do this. The PTSD you would have after something like that? Man. Bruce.
Bruce? What's I, going on, I didn't Vicky? mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. So those police... You're really going for the record, huh? Why are you here? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. That's facts. I can help you get the right kind of attention. That's also facts, if you put out the Through right story. my connections story. at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. Stop old -fashioned. the cap. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof okay still allegations like this they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me mm -hmm. obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Politically motivated. Bill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, yeah, yeah, that's what this I scandal said. <laughs> will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. That's actually true. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of I don't of know if that's smart. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. What's Whenever the quote? you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Yes, sir. I hope that helps your story, Vicky. And then maybe I could You're gonna beat help this, you relax Bruce. after you write it, the you know what I mean? always come out on top. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Rail. What's that look? I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. That's that true. man has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this... Maybe I shouldn't have shook Falcone's hand. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. That's also facts. Good call, Alfred. How long is this first episode? Because I'll play the whole thing if it ain't like three hours long. A warrant? What the hell's going on? You tell me. Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, They're just trying to files. find anything. Son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. I really Mayor do Hill's trying him. to screw us both over with this move. Mm-hmm. And then he's made two enemies. Two strong enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's Politics. gotta be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low, even for Hill. I don't know. Politics are- oh, God, what a mess. Interesting. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would um, jeopardize the entire campaign. Just keep your distance. 
You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, so no, no just glad you made it. They noticed each other. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I don't think we. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss. Kyle. I think she uh likes. Strong grip you've got there. Okay, right out the gate. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around mm. Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did well, you I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. To what? Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. What is it that you do? So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? Yeah, to the best of our ability. I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Trust in you, Harvey. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Don't you even start talking to me. Don't you do it. What you looking at? Nice to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. You going to play nice this time? Well, it depends on you. What, 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 what did I do? I don't, don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. Okay. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. Yeah. What's your excuse? Justice. I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You don't need to know my secrets, Selena Kyle. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. You have my grapple gun. I recall you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working with. I mean, for, I could think of they a don't few ways. Around. <laughs> if I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. I can help All right, you. You want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. 
Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. What do you need on My the drive? My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Where? Now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. Then you're not getting the drive. I guess I'm screwed either way. Yes, My sir. contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You About tell me. Snatch I have my people working on it. <laughs> We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. She's playing games, man. Talking about, don't forget to change into your suit. I'm in a suit, bitch. I didn't get to read what that said. Dad, goddamn, it's nighttime now. Warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Oh, you already know what it is, Alfred. Bust these doors open. Let's get to work. Open sesame. Okay, um, some people got their faces melted off. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I count ten. I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, but... good lord. Who could have done such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking dead. I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Oh shit. That's, That's hilarious. what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 130. Damn, that dude is butchered on the table back there. There's chunks of him. Jesus. Um, yeah, well, what's this? Nothing left to bury. Yeah, quite literally. There was an explosion, some sort of chemical compound melted people's faces off. Analyzing. Then they took off in a truck. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Gotta find more evidence. I guess the exploded human is probably part of that. Whoever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. Yeah, what the fuck? I'll see what I can piece back together. I'm not sure I understand how you're trying to say. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Stop being a bitch, Alfred. I'm the Batman. I am invincible. Ugh. Ugh. There's the shrapnel. Looks like a bullet. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. No. Nope. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Perfect circle. Some sort of laser or some shit. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. 
I've been playing KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic, to anybody who doesn't know. Um, truck Something tires. Was here when the explosion if occurred. I actually guessed that right, that's fire. But I've been playing Knights of the Old Republic, and uh, when he said the Force, I was thinking of Star Wars. That man's face is gone. Um, excuse me, sir. Badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? The hell kind of ammo? They shot. Oh. oh. God damn! What the fuck? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Okay. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Scratching somebody. No. That bad? I think I know what happened. The they they said something about the chemical being a psycho uh, whatever. So it's not an explosive chemical, but because of the ammo being a uh, incendiary round, it lit up the chemical, exploded, but it also poisoned everyone in the room and made them go crazy and start fighting Face each other. Slashed. Throat torn open. So, yeah. so not natural causes then. Nope, they are not natural causes. What you got? Skylight Club. So those two can be linked together for sure. A cop shredded this murk to pieces. Jesus. Barehanded. God. What would cause someone to do that? Chemicals. The nerve agent. Yep. Could make them psychotic. Incendiary bullet. I played L.A. Noir, man. I know how to connect stuff. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. No, not at all. It appears military. See I've seen these outfits him. before. Same mercs that broke into scene. Yep, Hall. I was just about to say that. Good call, Batman. They look like Deathstroke. White Rose. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. Mm. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Um, well, all those things are connected. And then they took off. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Hey, you owe me a soda, Batman. <laughs> yeah. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Uh oh. What's his big move, Batman? One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. Then things turned grim. 
Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. Jesus. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on Is two impact shot? trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Both targets could have been shot from here. But no residue. But no phosphorus trace. I'm gonna say it's this one. Trace of phosphorus, though. I was wrong. I don't think this one's gonna have phosphorus either. This big ass fidget spinner. Yep. Then he climbed out the window. Spike. Your vantage point. We have a winner. Cigarette is still burning. Killing time. The hell? And a cigarette? This is the right spot. So where did he go? Can't you scan the fingerprints or something to find out who it was, Batman? Ray stops here. Jump and down. Should be nearby. It's a crate, ain't it? Time to go to work. That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> That's. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney. Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Punch him. <laughs> You're gonna talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. Mm. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Jesus. How the hell did he set him up? Oh, the pipe. It's true Bro. what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. You might as well start talking. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Jesus God. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. And you out of time. Mm. Mm. Tell me! That Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive. Yes, sir. The container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Someone must have heard us call the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone <laughs> wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Please, no, no. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals are some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. 
Falcone said he'd use him soon. Used? Where? That's all I know! Uh. I swear, I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! Alright, get- <laughs> You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner and see- Get out of here. I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance, too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? That man. <gasps> Damn, he's smooth with the. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Hey, I'm a break his shit. He, he deserved it. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. I didn't nearly kill him. Relax. Still Your parents decrypting? didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. Look, I did what you had to. But at what cost? We both know how this argument goes. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. He's got a point, Bruce. Yeah, so that's a valid point. I can't, I can't really man, argue Bruce. that one. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. <laughs> Well, back into the fray again. Let's check it out. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. Some you see kind of Dad's name room. on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. <sighs> this is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Jim Gordon. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you Don't think make me choose. Most good. Is that what we're really gonna do here? Oh man. I gotta think about that. I gotta think about that. That's tough. So I can give it to Vicky or I can give it to Jim. The only problem with giving it to Jim is they might have a thing where it's like, oh, um, the district attorney won't allow me to 
put it out or whatever with because uh i mean i don't know maybe harvey dent is in links with it or something because they already shook hands with falcone uh falcone uh or vicky vell might not be able to put it out because she's a reporter I feel like the reporter is the best way to do this, though. She's going to hit more outlets. The cops will keep it under table. Let, let's go with Vicky. Everything is telling me to go with Vicky, so. I always think. Uh, crime I mean, in the city. It's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head. Three more I forgot to switch place. to the game. I know. I'm Unless giving her the we notes. Kill the beast once data. and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. I backed Harvey's campaign for a reason. Fixing Gotham starts at the top. <laughs> Politics to the rescue? <laughs> for once, I think. Doubtful. No matter how good looking he is. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Know. Yeah. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham. Exactly. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Yes, sir. Shki. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. Sir. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. I didn't say that so erotic. Now that is hard. That was sweet. The whole car just transformed. <laughs> So now we're on top. Is that Wayne Tower over there? Okay, we got a hoverboard, Green Goblin style. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Oh, shit. Good point of entry. Patrons. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Yeah, 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 you probably shouldn't lay in bed with those types of people, lady, but who am I to tell you what to do, you know? You make your rounds? Yeah. No broken bones. Still yelling from the last time I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Nothing here. See all the stuff up top, but I want to make sure I don't miss anything. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Um. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. I don't know if that's the right idea, Batman. But hey, it looks like that's what we're doing. Coffee table. Gunman. 
Batman just needs prep time. If you're throwing that grown man like that, you might have some uh, different things that you need to talk about here, Batman. This man over here That's going trim. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. Uh, do we, Batman? You ain't come up. Do it. Have you formulated your plan of attack? Yes, sir. I'm going in. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Tap your, your voice mob. To crash his party. My face itches all of a sudden, but I can't itch. Oh, my face itches so bad. Hmm. Yo. Jesus Christ. Oh. oh my god. Get up top, get up top. Watch out. Oh yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. Ugh. 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 Sweep the leg. No guns. Ugh. Batman, that could have easily died, bro. You're being careless. Damn, butter beans coming at me. Oh shit. Yo, you killed your own men. Show yourself! You got no goddamn right to stay here! I'm from I want to go. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it pulls the floor. I thought it was like a grenade he shot through the floor or something. Mm. He's gonna be bleeding now. How about this one? Uh. Can't sneak up on me. Yes, sir. Throw it, Batman. Oh, want to finally itch my face. You think that's gonna work? Yes. I'm gonna light up. Oh, God. Uh. 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 Get your goddamn hands off of my suit. I. You know who my lawyers. My lawyers. Uh. Uh. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Uh. Oh, shit. Man pulled out a whole turret. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Go, 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 go. Oh, bam. You gotta blow the drone up. The turret, whatever, you gotta blow that shit up. Oh, the music cut off. You good? I guess it did. Sat still, you piece of shit. You've lost, Falcone. I can go up a few more rounds. Oh, could you? Let's see if that's true. The killers. Where are they? 
What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat. I thought I wasn't going. Yeah. Oh, man. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. A show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Rest him and then we'll give him the evidence. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> You're a lawyer. But that's not good press. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Go, Batman, go. What kind of twist? What the hell's going on? I know he's trying to frame the Waynes. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone yes, sir. going away for a long, long time. Yes, sir. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, no. this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. Or so we thought. For all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Why? Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands. Oh with Carmine my God. Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense. Wayne fired back, saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who they are really we left pulled with? that back out. Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling This man gives Gotham us everything for Gotham the Wayne, and they shit on him. The sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Man. Man. Did you stick up for stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? 
Okay, me and 32%. Um, 85% provided a quote. Um, see, I wish I didn't break his arm, but that's all right. Only 27% gave it to Vicky Vale, the evidence. Um, how did you, yeah, arrested him. He'd have to be a maniac to just beat him to death. Okay. All right, so, uh, that's going to be it for that one. If you guys want to see episode two, make sure you follow the channel. Subscribe, like, comment, all of that good stuff. Let me know your favorite part of this episode and let me know what you would have done differently. And um, also, have you ever played this game before? Because I have not and this is my first playthrough. So hopefully you guys are here to enjoy that with me. And hopefully you guys continue to come, even though these videos are fairly long. <laughs> but either way, man, this has been a, a joy to play. So thank you guys, and hopefully you enjoyed it as well. But thank you guys for coming to Red's World. Stay tuned for more to come soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.